Join me now, I have a professor, Art Khan, a great expert in neuroscience, and we'll talk about content retention. I'm Wagner Casimiro, and this is the Espresso Tree. Art, what's the problem about learning and content retention? The problem is humans forget a lot. Um, the research, let me, let me start intuitively. If you go to a great seminar here at ATD, you go to a seminar and it's wonderful, it's on topic and all of that, how much are you going to remember the next day? No, less than 10%. <laughs> and that's brutal and it's not just your fault. Everyone's the same way. We're all that way. You, you attend a great seminar, your organization gives you training and then it just vanishes. And the research suggests that people forget 50% in an hour, 70% in a day, 90% in a week. And this isn't marketing, it's not hyperbole, it's scientific research that shows all people forget at that rate. And in neuroscience, we're even thinking that's the way the brain is actively making an effort to purge information out. So forgetting is not the failure of memory, forgetting is an active cognitive process where the brain tries to get rid of extra information that it thinks is unimportant. And that's our problem in training because, my goodness, we spend enormous amounts of money training employees, training each other, and it's almost all gone in a week. And so we have to find some way to overcome what we call the forgetting curve. Okay, and what can we do to make it stick, or, or no, in other words? How can we put the content in our head? Our brains have evolved with the capacity to retain enormous amounts of information. It's not a problem of capacity, but as I said, your brain by default gets rid of information that it doesn't need. And the algorithm that the brain uses is use it or lose it. And if in the hours and days after training, after you learn something new, if you use that piece of information, if you bring it up in conversation, if you apply it in a situation, your brain says, ah, that was useful, I'm going to keep it. Conversely, if you acquire a new piece of information, technique of leadership, for example, and two weeks go by, because you got to, after the seminar, two weeks go by, you don't think about it, your brain is going to do what it's supposed to do and it will forget it because you haven't used it. And so the key to success if you want people, if you deliver training to an organization, what you do after training to support it, what you do after training is more important than what you're doing during training. And if you do nothing after training, if you do no follow-up, your learners will forget everything you've taught them. Okay. We can develop specific programs to help reinforce the knowledge. And we can talk more about that. How do you actually design a program after training to reinforce the knowledge so it doesn't get purged and forgotten. Okay. And you are working now with uh, huge companies like Google. Uh, could you give me an example uh, of what the organizations are doing in the, that direction? What we're doing is we're recognizing that learning and memory and behavior change, our ultimate goal is to be a behavior change, that you cannot produce behavior change with a single one-off lesson. You can't expect that people are going to show up for one hour learn it, retain it, and change their behavior. It doesn't work that way. And what we're doing with organizations, these large groups, is helping them develop relationships with their learner so that in the hours and days after training, they continue to interact using technology, using managers if they're a small organization. If they're a larger organization, I can teach them how to use technologies that exist to maintain an ongoing relationship with the learner. And that relationship will, what we call, boost their knowledge so that they remember the information and are more able to apply it. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, hey, pleasure.